Goddess. Ooh, just. Goddess, how do you in that place to be? I go to St. John University. Nah. So we're going to read an article. Oops, sorry. Title, Eight Benefits of Having an Open Mind. This incense is um, kind of soaking up that oxygen, making it difficult to breathe. So... I really got to give me some new glasses because these glasses are scratched up, making it so difficult for me to um read. Okay, let me make this bigger. Maybe if I make it bigger, maybe I can see it. And these glasses is really jacked up. I'm serious. Like, I really, oh, my gosh. As I was saying, I have an article that talks about the benefits of having an open mind. Benefit number one, your world flourishes. It's like only being able to see black and white and suddenly realizing that many shades of color exist. Your palette is expanded from only having two possibilities to now having hundreds of options. Your selection is more plentiful and you are not so boxing with minimal selections. Benefit number two, you are free your mind from limited thoughts. Nothing holds you back more than thinking you know the answer, so you never consider other alternatives. When you admit that there are several possible solutions or outcomes, you allow yourself to think beyond the boundaries where you normally would have stopped yourself. Benefit number three, that's when change happens. You have to change your thoughts and beliefs before you can expect your behaviors and actions to change. Most people try to do it the other way, modifying their behaviors in an effort to change, only to find it doesn't work. True change happens from the inside out. Benefit number four, you have more fun. You're willing to try new exciting things. You let go of whatever has held you back in the past and begin to embrace life. You experiment with you experiment with different things and have more experiences, more positive experiences. On the top of that, it's easy to find solutions to problems if you're willing to to consider the notion that there are many effective ways to deal with an issue. You open yourself to more options when you're trying to solve problems. You don't get stuck trying the same thing over and over again just because you can't think of something else. Benefit number six. You have a greater ability to love and be loved. When you let go of passing judgment, you allow yourself to have deeper, more meaningful relationships. You give and accept love more freely because you're not so concerned with drawing conclusions about people. You accept them for who they are. And the last one, benefit number seven, you have a higher tolerance level. You have greater patience with, other, with others. You're open to the fact that they may have a valid reason for behaving or feeling the way they do instead of just determining that was wrong. Benefit number eight, oh, it's eight. You have more energy when you aren't so bogged down by negative thoughts and trying to figure everyone and everything out. You have more energy to focus on the important things in life, such as family, friends, and good health which is very, very important. Now that you see all the wonderful benefits of living with an open mind, here are some quick tips that will help you get one. Become inquisitive. Be aware of your judgment and questions where they come from. Are you basing them on past experience or from something you haven't heard? Challenge your thoughts when you reach a conclusion quickly. Ask yourself whether it's true 100% of the time. If it isn't, then don't limit yourself to that one thought being the only possible option. Practice, 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 practice. Meditation. When you're in a meditative state, your mind opens, meaning you have heightened problem-solving skills and can think outside of the box. Learn something new, broaden your horizons by educating yourself about other cultures, groups, and customs. Try to see things from different angles and viewpoints. When you have the ability to objectively, objectively look at all the prob, all the options, you open up a whole new realm of possibilities and ideas. It's like a new, more colorful world becomes available to you, available to you. Enjoy the vibrations and energy is here for the taking. And this article was taken from um, OperationMeditation.com, written by...
book written by Operation Meditation, a benefits of having an open mind and how to get one. And let me share my experience. I am an open-minded person. I think outside the box, I look for other ways to make things happen or to solve problems. Now, there was um, my son, who is now 24, was a witness to domestic violence. And he began exhibiting behavior issues, anger issues. But I had no clue that it was because of what he had witnessed because I lacked the knowledge of domestic violence. So, you know, I'm beating him and disciplining him, but he just getting worse and worse and worse. So one of my coworkers suggested that I take him to get some professional help to find out what's going on with him. Because when you have a child that's respectful, that's behaved, that's quiet, that you don't have no problems out of, and then all of out of the blue, their behavior starts changing, nine times out of ten, something caused that. So she was like, well, maybe you need to go see a psychiatrist or a psychologist. Did I get mad because she asked, suggested that? No, because I had an open mind. My thing was, the most important thing was uh, helping my son get better, finding out why my son is have these aggressive behaviors. So I went and got him some help. And today he graduated from high school. He's been, he got a good paying job. He has his own apartment. He's not out there hoeing around. He's in a committed relationship. You know, he's very productive. So that was one thing that, you know, I benefit from having an open mind. The other thing was not being confined to religion and thinking that religion is the way to solve all my life problems. I was Christian. That wasn't doing nothing for me. Then I became a Muslim, and that didn't really do nothing to me. Again, having an open mind caused me and allowed me to think outside the, outside the box and realize, okay, I'm not happy with my life, so there must be something else that I can do to find inner peace, to, to find happiness in. I became, I started my spiritual journey, and in the process, I began learning so much about who Amanda Barton is. The Barton is my maiden name, and Amanda is my birth name. And I began to learn... The, why I made the choices I made, what ticks me off, um, my strong morals and vows. I just learned so much about myself. But had I had not had an open mind, I would have been confined to the religion, sitting up here praying and praying and praying for better, better in my life and never receiving it because I chose to keep my mind closed to other alternatives that may be beneficial to me in a positive way. Even the religion had me, Islam had me, even Christianity had me in marriages that I shouldn't be in. Oh, if you, you should only be married one time. Actually, I got married twice. Um, that, you know, you should give your husband the benefit of the doubt, stay in a marriage for the sake of the kids, blah, 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 blah. Had I had a closed mind, where would I be at? In an unhealthy marriage to a man who don't know how to keep his penis in his pants. So, having an open mind has... Allow me to think outside the box. Having an open mind has allowed me to research and learn things, learn ways to deal with my problems, to deal with my own self and my own issues. It has brought nothing but positive benefits to my life. I have a love in my life. You know, I, I healthy relationship. Um, I was able to, to leave a job of 10 years that didn't value my work. That caught leaving that job, I made more money. Like, so much has happened in a positive way by me having uh, a po um open mind. Because if I would have had a closed mind, I would be miserable. I would be unhappy. My son probably would have been dead or in jail had I didn't get him help. So many things could have happened in, for the worse. Instead... Things are better because I found alternative ways to deal with life and find my inner peace and learn to love myself and value myself. And I'm able to stand on my own two feet. I have always stood on my own two feet. I have always bounced back from anything that I have been through. But letting go of certain traditions that was taught to me or that was passed down with me and staying in that little box like this is the only way to live in life 
I probably would be still miserable. Ne- negative Nancy. You know, but now I'm more happy because I learned happiness comes from inside. Not man, not God, not children, not money, materialist thing. None of that stuff does not make you happy. You can have all that stuff and still be unhappy. I just learned so, so, so much. And ha- having an open mind is a positive thing because you're thinking outside the box. You're able to find solutions to things that you may experience, whereas you don't, you have several solutions instead of just one solution. When you're religious, what are you taught? Pray, pray, pray. 24 hours, non-stop praying. Praying, praying, but never taking the actions to achieve or manifest what it is that you want in your life. And so many people are scared to think outside the box because they're too busy worrying about what the hell other people are going to say. Social anxiety. I don't have social anxiety because I can care two shits about what people say about me. And I even think about letting go of that religion made it easy for me to let go of my husband and leave him the hell alone and kick his ass to the curb after he cheated and disrespected me and his daughter. And then he tried to come back into my life and I stood my ground. Boom. I'm not this religious type woman that said, okay, you got to stay with the marriage because if you fornicate or commit a judgment, go to fuck the hell. Hell is right here. Hell is just, hell and heaven is a state of mind. We're living in hell right now. But you can create your own heaven within this hell by having an open mind. Peace, blessings, and a whole lot of love. God is idea. Feel free to subscribe to this channel as I share my video, as I share my views and opinions on life issues, as I share my experience on this spiritual path and everything else about what my, that I don't mind sharing. Remember, I promote self-love. Love yourself. Love and happiness comes from within, not outward. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go.